Hey guys, what's up? Um, so, I finally got around to charging the battery. The last video I tried to make with this uh, didn't take because we ran out of battery mid-video. So right now, I'm videoing with the Panasonic HCV201, um, which I exchanged for um, the Samsung, I think it was HC something, I forget exactly. Um, but if you, if you came to this video through that video, then uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Basically, a few days ago, last week, I bought um, a Samsung video camera at Best Buy, and um, I don't want to blame the salesperson or the advertising, but it just wasn't what I expected when I got home, so I exchanged it for um, a Panasonic. And why I exchanged it was for various reasons. Now, people who watch my channel will know that I like traveling, I like um, exploring, I like doing all sorts of uh, crazy stuff. So, um... Why did I exchange it? Because the Panasonic, the one that you're watching right now, oh, sun's in my eyes. Um, it's much smaller and much much lighter, um, and has a lot more functions for not too much more of a price. That's for sure. Um, and of course, it's newer, so it's better quality. Uh, the Panasonic, the one you're watching right now, is in full uh, 1080 um, pixel HD, uh, where the Samsung was only 720, I think. Um, which I was mis I was just basically misled on that one, um, and I only realized my mistake when I got home. So uh, I exchanged it, and um, I'll turn on my old one, my old camera, this one, Fujifilm, um, the one I've been using for a while, and show you uh, all the ins and outs of this Panasonic. So. Uh, Let's go. And if you're watching this video, you know, looking for reviews on the Panasonic, then you've likely already seen others. Um, if this is the first one, then no, oh, thanks for watching, and I hope you stick through it, and I hope you like it. So, let's go. Okay, hey guys. So, here is the Panasonic. As you can see, if you came from the Samsung video, um, and you'll probably first notice the size. I mean, look at that size difference in my hand. Um, and the weight, you know, that it carries is much, much lighter. It's at least, you know, a full ounce lighter, if not more. I don't remember the exact specs of both in terms of weight. But here, you turn it on, it has probably about the same start on time as the Samsung. So there you go, you turn it on. I just took out the card and I'm using it right now for this camera. That's okay. Basically, here the battery is already half full. I found that the battery doesn't last too long, but you know, I'll probably end up buying a, a uh, spare maybe at some point on Amazon, usually cheaper than buying them from the website, from the Maker website. So here you turn it on. I've already gone through some of the settings and you know, and whatnot. Um, one thing that I noticed that I specifically like about this is um, it has pre recording uh, function where if I can manage to go to the menu, I'm still still very complicated. So if you go to the menu, I don't know if you can see it, right here on the screen, there's a menu button, it's not touch screen. Go to the menu, go to setup, oh, I'm sorry, recording settings, and you'll see, go to the menu, it has pre-recording. Now it's not giving me the option available, uh, because there's no memory card, but basically I haven't timed it exactly, but um, I think it's about five seconds. So, anyone who knows what pre-recording is, you could have the camera open and on, and just point it at something. And then, if you see something happening, you press record, and it'll start recording. But it'll also have on memory about five seconds before you actually hit the recording button, so you don't miss a beat. Um, I think that's going to be really useful, especially since I don't always anticipate something happening, and. I've missed a lot of good stuff because of that. So, what else? I'm going to go to settings. Um, it can take a picture, um, still photos. Again, you know, it's a video camera, not meant for still photos. That's why, you know, I like um, this point and shoot camera, the one that the Fujifilm, the one I'm using right now. Um, but, you know, it doesn't have flash, it, you know, it uses, it's just not meant for that. Um, it is 10 megapixel though for still shooting, um, and one thing that this does that I, that this doesn't do, I'm sorry, that the Samsung did do, is um, 
in Samsung you could take a picture without missing a beat on a video. Um, so if you're in the middle of a video and you want to, oh hey, I want to take a uh, picture, you just click the picture button and it'll take and you won't even know it when you're watching the video. Um, but this, I don't think you can take a picture while making a video. Um, at least I don't, I could be wrong, you know, but I don't think you can. Um, I already set the time and the date that asks you that when you first turn it on. Um, has some pretty cool settings. Uh, I turned quick start on. That means if you know if the shutter is open, I can just open the screen without having to press the on button because I don't add some time. The on button's right there. Um, also, I don't. I haven't heard any uh, sounds coming from the camera. The Samsung you could it was barely audible. You could hear uh, the autofocus and when you uh, with the optical zoom, you could hear it zoom in and zoom out. Now with the pan with the Fuji film, um, if anyone's watched my older videos. You'll also hear hear um, you know clicking sound, which is the autofocus. And uh, right now I have it turned off. That's why you're not hearing it, and that's why it's not focusing too well. So I like that. Um, you know, again, the pan the Panasonic was you know in the two hundred dollar range, and the Fujifilm was in the eighty dollar range. So you get what you pay for. And um, oh, so back to the settings. I mean to the video. So here I can take a video. Notice on the side has uh, some pretty good, um, you know. Here you can make it, you know, automatic mode or manual. I'm gonna keep it on automatic. Um, you can delete stuff. You can also has uh, auto shake. I think the biggest function. I'm gonna have fun. I think the biggest function that I like about this camera though is. Um, is uh, the zoom capability it has 72 sorry 72 times um, what they call intelligent zoom I don't quite understand the difference between that and um, the digital zoom um, but if you go into the settings you can actually go even further um, up to uh, 2500 uh, X uh, but that's only digital zoom let's see if I can my hands in the way see if I can demonstrate that Again, you know, when you zoom in that much and it's digital, you're going to lose a lot of quality. So let's see if I can get something good. So again, you're not going to see much because you're seeing the screen. But trust me, you know, it goes through. So up to basically up to 72 times zoom, it's, uh, it's pretty clear. And um, pretty much that's, you know, most of what you need anyways. Um... So what else? It is 30, the lens is 32.3 millimeters wide um, compared to uh, the one I'm using right now. Yeah, maybe I can. Uh, I forgot the screen swivels. So I'll show you. There you go. <laughs> this is the one I'm using. So besides to this one, which is um, I think five. Yeah, five times wide, uh, 4.6. I don't know what that means. The 23 millimeters. I don't know. So this is, you know, the Panasonic is more, which is really good. Get a nicer picture. Um, it has image stabilization, so I'm shaking it right now. Um, it's not too bad with this, you know. Look at that. Look at that difference. I don't know if you can see on the screen. But uh, what else? I mean, let's see, zoom in, zoom out. What else? Some basic settings. Um, I think overall the sound quality is better. You can probably hear it. You know, um, the, the microphone is right here. I don't know how it handles wind noise yet. I have yet to be outside with it. Um, what else? Oh, for charging, I like to. I haven't tried charging it through a USB port, um, but I don't. Hold on. Let me close this. I don't think it's uh, it might not be possible. But it comes with a AC jack um, where you plug directly into the wall. So I don't know if you can charge it through a USB port on the other side. I haven't tried. That'd be nice, but you know, in some ways it's also nice because you get you charge it faster with a, with an actual you know AC point that port that's ne uh, that's meant for charging. Um, what else? The battery it comes with a battery. Um, it doesn't last too long. Um, at least the default one. I mean, I think I told you that before. Um, you know, I haven't really been using it too much, and it's already halfway down. 
But again, I've been playing with the settings a lot. So, uh, and I charged it, I think, on Friday afternoon, and it's now Sunday. Although I didn't use it too much on Saturday, so. Um, here is the place for the uh, memory card. It goes right there, so it closes. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, here the the lens cover. See? Closed. Open. Um, you have to do it manually, so, you know. If you want to get a quick shot, you might want to keep it open, you know, if you're on an adventure. Um, then you run the risk of, uh, of getting the screen, uh, the lines dirty, sorry. Why can't I think today? Jeez. So, I'm going to shut the video off now. I think that's about it for general rev general review. Um, overall, so far, I'm more satisfied with this. I think I got more of my money's worth than I did with the Samsung. Um, so I'm glad I uh, exchanged it. Um, it was a bit expensive, but you know, I don't think it was uh, definitely a waste. Oh, look at this! Um, just mention this too. If you notice here, um, I forget what this is called—a place to put on like a tripod, screw thingy, screwy. So basically, for that, it's nice and it's right in the center, so the weight is probably going to be more even whereas on the Fujifilm the one it is on the left side on the bottom yeah so the weight is kind of lopsided like that it was on the tripod so it makes it a little bit harder to even out even that out so I think that is about it um, the weight I love the weight and the size and the quality um, so I have a feeling I'm going to use this yeah, sorry about that. That's another thing I hate about this uh, Fujifilm is you can only record um, about 10 minutes um, in one shot on uh, full H on what they call full HD, which is only 720. But this it seems you can you can do until you fill up the card. So uh, that's good. Um, so that's about it. <laughs> so it's been such a long video, but uh, you know, I think if you if you're looking to buy this camera, do it. Um, you know, again, it's going to be kind of expensive. You might want to wait a little bit until the price goes down, or maybe you can get a cheaper deal um, from Amazon or something. I got it for about 200 something uh, at Best Buy, but that was mainly only because I uh, wanted to get a camera that day, so I couldn't wait for it to be shipped. Um, and I wanted to exchange it at the, at the store that I bought it at, the, the Samsung at. So. And besides, I've heard great things about Panasonic. Some of uh, uh, my good friends who are also adventurers, like Kurt Bell, he uses Panasonic, and I think uh, that's one of his main adventure cameras. Go check him out. He does great hiking videos in Japan, and he is a uh, pretty funny guy. So uh, check him out. Uh, subscribe to me if you want to see um, actual adventure videos from this camera later on. I am leaving, actually, this Monday, tomorrow. Um... Hopefully I'll get this video up uh, before then, um, but I'm going uh, for quite some time to uh, Israel, so I'll get some more videos there. Um, so subscribe, check me out, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.